Good morning. <clears throat> Gonna have to piece the other sides in like we did the other two sides. Welcome back to the Hercules box build. I can't hear anything, so hopefully you can. Okay, there's one panel we're gonna piece in. We just got it propped up with some uh, magnets there. Let's tack it into place. Gonna use this little piece of channel iron, C C channel, whatever you call this. Gonna have to clean it up. It's pretty bad, and uh, we'll use this as like uh, just a design that's gonna go in inside of it. All right, let's cut it. I'll show you. We're gonna use our Hercules bandsaw to cut this with, but the blade on here is for fine cuts, and this is like eighth inch or or better steel that's on here so
we want to change the blade. I didn't think I would use this as much as I do. I've been using the piss out of this <clears throat> carry around Hercules uh, wet back. It works really well and it cleans everything up so quickly. I used to use the leaf blower and blow it outside, but yeah, this has uh, really helped me a lot in these real simple small cleanups. So let's go find a blade, a bigger blade. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. I think we got it. to switch to the Vulcan before this project's finished because of the holiday weekend. Okay, here's what it looks like in the dark. Here's one side. See, we got that channel in there that really makes it look nice, I think. And it's all, you know, it's roughed in, but it's going to look good. You'll see. What I want to do is, keeping with this theme of these uh, steel rods, I mean, it, this looks fine like it is, but I want to continue. I'm going to use these. I'm going to clean them up, obviously, because they're rusty as shit. But I want to clean these up using my Bauer cleanup grinder. Haha, <laughs> that's what I call it. And I'm going to line this, keeping with the theme, and just kind of staple it like a Frankenstein. I think that would look cool. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Otherwise, I'd have to... Uh, another option would be just to fill this in with weld and then grind it out. 
Heck, I might even do that. Hey, right, let's play by ear. I'm calling this side uh, done, boys. Now I'm not even going to grind these uh, tacks out because I like the way that looks. I like it a lot. Okay, one more side to go till we can uh, smooth it out more. I still have to weld some more on the inside of this box, so I'll get back with you when we start the other side. Heck yeah! Okay, this one is going vertical instead of horizontal like the like the one on the back. See we made that one horizontal. And then we're just cut this piece. It's it's bigger than this one. But we have limited steel, so that's good. We'll get this welded into place and then put in the panels. On the front is gonna be diamond plate. Or you could call it the back or the side. I haven't decided yet. put the panels in here diamond plate which is we have to cut the sides right there
Yeah, buddy, there's some one panel in. I was going to make them both diamond plate, but I might as well mix match and put the other one plain. got to fix the seam here. guys I got another panel here to go that's going to be plain I got to put the bottom on the casters I got to make the, the lid for it I got to position a new tool rack on the back of it I have to dress it up I'm going to put some things like this along it to, to put things in yeah I got a long ways to go now that I think about it I thought I'd be done by now but no yeah so, I, I'll see you on the next one. Probably be pretty quick. I'm going to run into town today and look for deals, boys. Because it is Black Friday after all, you know. Might be able to get a flap disc for under five bucks. Talk to you later. It's coming out nice, though, I think.